How's it? Today is Saturday, February 18th. It's the SBD day, or the BSBPSD day. It's more of the same from last week. I'm increasing the appropriate amount for the lifts where necessary. So that means on the back squat, I go up two kilos from last week. Or kind of looking at it, more program picture. I am doing exactly the same weight that I did on Wednesday of this week, but only for three threes rather than the four fives plus the ten. And then for the bench press, I'm going up five pounds. And for the sumo deadlift, I'm going up three kilos, which is 6.6 .6 pounds. I got into the gym a lot later than I wanted to today, and I actually didn't do my hamstring warm-up at all. Here's my first set. And so my warm-ups were quite literally the bar, 70, 120, and then already at 136. I did notice that my right knee, the one that was giving me a lot of issues, I did notice that it wasn't hurting at all. My left knee, however, has been giving me this weird clicky sensation, this weird... It feels like it's out of position for some reason, and I don't know if that's because I didn't warm up or if that's a function of the rest of my training or accumulated fatigue or my absolutely atrocious sleep last night. I don't know, but I was able to make it through all the squats today. I think speed was pretty good. I think positions were also pretty good. I did have some of them where I did shift more back, which I don't think is the end of the world, but for what it's worth, you know, the 3x3 three three today is supposed to be quicker and better positioning because it's not the same amount of volume as Wednesday. So, I mean, I'm thinking about it as a positive, but it could also be seen as a, an area of, of work that needs to be done. For my bench press, I made a conscious decision to not do any pauses. So my, my warm-ups are paused, and then as I get to 225, sorry, 230, I was like, no, I am not going to do any pauses because I think I'm going to die if I do any pauses. So I end up just bouncing the shit out of the weights. And given the time and how difficult it was in the first set, Here's the first set. I didn't think I was going to be able to do all five of them. But I was able to do so. I rested quite a bit in between each of them. Probably close to like six minutes or so. And I would say that all of the sets, apart from the last set, was easier than this set. So that's kind of a weird thing to think about. Especially because the later the session goes, right? The more tired you get and the less energy you have. So... I don't know how to look at it, that training session as a whole, but I'm happy that I was able to do them all just because I thought I was going to do the one set and just give up because it was a bit more challenging than I would have liked it to be. And I was pressed for time, so it didn't help with that kind of looking forward. Like, I, I got to make sure I get everything ready so I can go to work on time. But I moved into my deadlifts after that. Very quick warm-ups, so... Went 20, 70, 120, 140, 155, and then 167. Because I did 164 last week for five fives. My technique today was terrible. It seems like I'm following this trend where one week it's bad, and then the next week it's surprisingly okay. So last week was surprisingly okay. At 164. The week before that, 161 felt like it was going to be... I was going to suffer my first fail on the deadlifts. I didn't fail on any days yet. I haven't failed the deadlift in a very, very, very long time. Which, um, knock on wood, I am hoping I don't fail anytime soon. This is my last one, 155. It was a lot more challenging than I would have liked it to be. And then my deadlifts here... First set, 167. So first couple reps look normal, and then I end up really, really, really um, bending in my lumbar, which is not the the way I want to lift. You know, it's okay for me to bend like thoracic um, thoracic flexion, I guess, 
but lumbar flexion is not something that I want to perpetuate. I think, I mean, when you're looking at technique, this is the one set that I think that it was really not great. Ah, no, I think about it. I think all of them after the first day were not great. But when you're looking at like technique stuff, I'm not sure if I talked about it before here, but in the clinic, there's a PT that was saying that there was no such thing as bad movement. It just doesn't achieve the same goal that you want. So it's a similar thing where it's like, oh, if you have really bad um, technique with your like bodybuilding movements, you're going to actually end up building extra muscle because all the stabilizer muscles and everything else is working together for you to move the weight, right? So when you look at it down that line, it's like the work that I did today was not useless. It's not great from a standpoint of like, how does my deadlift look? But overall, like I'm honestly amazed that I was able to deadlift all of this and yeah I I made it I'm looking at these videos again looking back at them the reps don't actually look too bad they're definitely not great but they don't look too bad I'm struggling here a lot there during it I felt like I was going to fail a bunch but like speed off of the ground was was fine and what ends up happening is if I don't feel like I'm moving enough off of the ground my lower back right there like that kind of bends yeah look at me <laughs> I knew that was happening my lower back bends to kind of accommodate for that and pushes my hips a little bit closer to the bar so I can pull a little bit faster and like I was saying it's not optimal for deadlifting the most, but if I'm just trying to develop strength, it's not terrible. As long as I don't get hurt, right? As long as I don't get hurt, that's the, the big key. Um, here's my last set. Yeah, first, first rep on this one is pretty good. And then it quickly devolves into something that's like, all right, I just got to get to five. Yeah, I'm getting stuck there a little bit, which is starting to happen more and more often for my deadlift. But that doesn't usually happen. But look at that. Ooh, I'm a hunchback. I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, guys. Yeah, and, and, and I know it. But um, this last one here, you'll watch me struggle probably the most out of all of them. I didn't have enough time. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, jeez. I didn't have enough time to do any accessories today because, again, I came in late. But I got all of my main work done and pretty happy with how it went, all things considered. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.